The currently B-class hero, Saitama, appears in a desert wasteland in order to meet up with a person that might possibly prove to be a worthy opponent to challenge him having heard from Piccolo, a green alien who defeated Dragon-level threat, Vaccine Man, a few days ago that there are many other powerful fighters, some alien in the world that he has not heard of before, Saitama became somewhat eager to see if these fighters prove to be worthy. Opponents that can finally match his power he was instructed by Piccolo to come to this wasteland, in order to meet up with one of those said people after a few moments of scanning the area around him, Saitama notices, a mysterious figure flying in from the east to his direction with incredible speed, before said figure flies down, and lands right in front of him upon landing. The caped hero could see that the figure was a middle-aged man, with spiky hair and an orange G. Is this the fighter he was told to meet here? Hi there. The man waved with a cheerful smile at him. You must be the guy Piccolo told me to meet here yup. He's the one. Um yeah that green alien guy told me that there are some pretty strong people. And I was wondering if you could show me how strong you are Saitama said with his usual dry tone and neutral expression. Well, you've come to the right guy. I'm Goku by the way the man, now named Goku, said with a cheerful smile. This guy sure was pretty cheerful and happy. The B class had to admit. Saitama, he said back. Well Saitama, let's get started shall we Goku said, quickly getting into fighting position while Saitama simply stood there calmly. Sure. I guess. Whenever you're ready, Saitama answered back. Truth be told, he wasn't expecting much from Goku, since it has been well over three years since the last time he's had a decent challenge, which was prior to his intense training. With speed faster than any normal human could anticipate, Goku launches himself at Saitama, ready to strike. But the caped hero is prepared, and throws a punch at the charging Saiyan, only for his punch to completely pass through Goku. What the Saitama exclaims in shock, and surprise, but he didn't have time to gather all this in as he was struck from behind by a powerful blow to the face that sent him flying into a large rock formation, destroying it in the process. Hee hee, you let your guard down pretty easy, you know Goku chuckles while lowering his fist. The caped hero emerges from the giant pile of large boulders that were once a single rock formation. But something was different about him after he emerged, touching his cheek where Goku punched him. Saitama felt pain. It wasn't some kind of illusion or dream or hallucination. No this was actual, real pain. Hit me again, Saitama suddenly shouts. Period. What? Goku asks, this time completely dumbfounded. You heard me? I need to know if this is reality, Saitama exclaimed in desperation. I won't trick you or anything, just hit me again. I want to feel this again um. Okay, heeding the caped hero's request, Goku disappears, and reappears right in front of Saitama before delivering another hard punch to his face, that once again sent him flying several feet before crashing against the ground. It it's not a dream, this is not a dream, Saitama thought, feeling more pain from his bruise. It's real, he yelled out loud. The pain and bruise that Goku had just inflicted on Saitama made the caped hero snap from the inside. Not out of anger, but rather out of joy and excitement. Oh my god, it hurt. That punch actually hurt me he exclaimed, barely able to hold his breath from the excitement of actually taking noticeable damage. This feeling, it's been too long. Hey are you okay over there? Goku calls out, a little worried that he might have went too far. Oh, I'm more than okay Saitama turns to the Saiyan with a look of pure excitement and joy. What did you say your name was again? It's Goku. The Saiyan reintroduced himself. Son Goku. Son Goku. Saitama repeated, rising and clenching his fist. You have my full attention, he said as a small smile begins forming in his face. Let's really get started with this fight. This prompts Goku to quickly reposition into his fighting stance. This time it's Saitama who comes charging at Goku with lightning fast speed and throws a powerful punch at him which the Saiyan effortlessly catches with his hand, but the kinetic energy of said punch sent a shockwave around the whole area, and made a crater 500 meters wide in diameter around both of them. Saitama was speechless, most enemies would be reduced to a pile of guts if they attempted this, but this Goku guy not only caught his powerful punch, while Saitama is being serious, no less, he did so with no effort, whatsoever, without giving Saitama a chance to react. Goku delivers a powerful kick to the caped hero's abdomen, launching him high into the air, where Goku appears right next to him to deliver an upside-down kick, sending Saitama crashing back to the ground, making the already giant crater even larger and deeper. Saitama was now actually struggling to get air back into his lungs after that hard kick to his stomach. Where the hell was this guy these last three years? 
Saitama couldn't help but think. How can a powerful fighter like him avoid the detection of the Hero Association for so long? I'm guess you haven't had a decent challenge in a long while. Hagoku asks as he appears before him. I can't tell based on how sloppy your attacks were back there. Truth be told. Goku Saitama began as he got up. I haven't had a decent fight in three freaking years. Almost every opponent I faced went down with just one punch. And honestly, I was starting to lose my emotions from that lack of challenges. Until you had Goku scratches the back of his head. You know I kind of feel sorry for you. Must have been pretty boring having no challenges to keep you blood pumping. You have no idea? Saitama mutters quietly. Anyway, shall we continue this? Goku asks, returning back to their original subject. Yeah let's get back to it, Saitama says before launching himself at Goku once more. Consecutive normal punches, in a matter of a few seconds, the caped hero unleashes a volley of quick, single-handed punches from his right hand, which the Saiyan manages to effortlessly block with the palm of his left hand alone, and with equally impressive speed. Smirking, Goku catches Saitama's right hand with his left, and points the palm of his other hand near Saitama's chest, before unleashing a massive yellow-colored energy wave that completely engulfs the caped hero. After the blast subsided, Saitama easily recovers, but his cape and part of his suit were partially damaged, though the bald hero didn't seem to mind it. You know it feels strange. After one punching so many monsters for so long, I forgot what's it's like being on the other end of the battle. Yeah I can tell, Goku said. You've won so many fights, you forgot what it's like to actually lose. Saitama looks at his fist. Has it really been three years? I've never felt so alive before. It's like I've been reborn again. The feeling of an actual fight. Turning back to the Saiyan, Saitama gains a smirk of his own. Get ready, Goku. I'm going to hit you with my post-powerful attack yet. Think you can take it. This, naturally, sparks a smirk on Goku's face. You know what? I'll give you a free shot at me. Are you sure? Saitama challenged. If this really is your strongest attack, then come at me. I won't try to dodge or block it. Goku insisted, still smirking. All right. You ask for it Saitama rises his right hand fist and comes charging at Gok with full speed and force. Here it comes. Serious series punch. The hero's face becomes extremely serious as he charges straight towards the standing Saiyan and delivers his punch to Goku's chest. The instant Saitama's punch made contact with the Saiyan's chest, Goku was instantly sent flying backwards with near blinding speed. In just a single second, Goku was sent several thousand feet away from Saitama before crashing into a large rock formation, which instantly shattered into a million pieces when Goku collided with it. Hmm. Maybe I overdid it a little. Saitama thought a bit worriedly as was smoke coming from his fist. However, in a split second, Goku jumps from the pile of rubble, with only a minor scratch on his chest, and lands safely on the ground. Hee <laughs> hee. Wow. You sure pack a punch? Goku said with soft smile as he begins approaching the B-class hero. Saitama looked slightly stunned, the key word being slightly, but he fully expected Goku to recover from that attack. After having felt actual pain for the first time in over three years, Saitama had complete faith and confidence that Goku would be able to survive the very same punch that defeated Boros, without taking any serious damage. At last, his hope and dream has finally come true Saitama has finally encountered a being capable of matching his seemingly invincible power. You're not very hurt, are you Saitama asks with a delighted smile of his own. Not really. Truth is, I've taken worse before? Goku said smiling. Also, while you're definitely incredibly strong, you're not very good at martial arts, are you no not really? Saitama admitted dryly. I was considering of entering this martial arts tournament, but decided not to yeah. I thought as much, Goku chuckled. Also, you're not very good at holding back your power either. No wonder most of your opponents went down with just one punch. Well then, I guess we should move on to round two then, Saitama asked, preparing himself for the next battle. All right, let's get this over with. Come at me with all you got, Saitama, Goku yelled. Without missing a beat, the B-class hero immediately launches himself straight at Goku and proceeds to unleash a volley of insanely fast punches from both hands, prompting Goku to put his arms in an X shape to block them. But even as he was blocking them, the sheer power behind each of Saitama's punches was slowly pushing Goku back finally. The Saiyan retaliates with a swift kick to Saitama's chest that sends the hero flying back. But not before Saitama grabs Goku's leg, and promptly slams the Saiyan against the ground with incredible force. Goku is quick to return the favor with another hard kick to Saitama's face. Seizing the opportunity, the Saiyan unleashes volley of yellow energy blasts, 
at the B-class hero before taking off and flying up into the sky followed by Saitama who jumps upwards after him. Once high up in the sky Goku stops flying and hovers thousands of feet above the ground as Saitama rushes upwards, ready to nail him with his mighty punch. But before said mighty punch could connect, Goku disappears in an instant and reappears below Saitama, prompting the shocked hero to slowly look down. Kami Hamiha putting his hands together, Goku fires bright blue energy beam from his hands and straight at the caped hero. Although shocked at first, Saitama is not willing to be defeated so easily. Serious series punch, he shouts before throwing his serious punch at the approaching energy blast, like he did with Boros, collapsing star roaring cannon. The moment Saitama's serious series punch collides with Goku's Kamehameha, a powerful explosion, like a star going supernova, lights up the sky even brighter than usual, shortly followed by a powerful sonic boom and a shockwave that could be heard felt throughout the entire desert. After the explosion died down and disappeared, Goku looks on carefully as Saitama falls from the sky, still very much alive and conscious, but his suit and cape were now almost completely torn. But upon further examination of the hero, one could spot a small drop of blood on Saitama's forehead. Once the B-class hero lands on the ground, Goku flies down to meet him. Nice fight, Goku said cheerfully as he lands. Hey you too Goku, Saitama said with a smile before wiping the blood from his forehead. You're the first person to actually hurt me this badly in over three years. It's amazing how time flies by so quickly. Oh yeah, then I hope I don't shock you when I tell you that I was holding back quite a lot back there, Goku said with a somewhat cocky smile. Honestly, I'm not very surprised. Saitama chuckles. By the way how did you become so strong? I got my strength through intense training for three years. I did training too Goku responded. Though my power also comes from the fact that I'm an alien a Saiyan, to be exact. Huh? You're an alien, too Saitama said, this time more surprised. You look so human. Yeah we Saiyans tend to look exactly like humans in many ways. Goku grins. Though I used to have a tail too, but I got rid of it because when we look at the full moon, if we have our tails, we transform into great apes. And when we do that, we lose all sense of ourselves and become just giant rampaging monsters, huh? That must suck. Saitama mused. You have no idea? Goku mutters. Say do you want to see a Super Saiyan? This however, puts a confused look on Saitama's face. A super what? Grinning. Goku's entire body suddenly becomes engulfed in a yellow aura. His hair stands up, giving it a flame-like appearance, and gains a golden yellow color. Goku's eyebrows also turn a golden color similar to his hair, while his irises gain a bluish color. The B-class hero stares at the Saiyan with widened eyes, and an amazed look. Why your hair? It turned to blonde. And, you're glowing. Tu Saitama couldn't help but comment with awe at the Saiyan's transformation. You like it? Goku asks. This is what I call a Super Saiyan. It's a transformation that increases my power by 50%. So you're now stronger than you were when we fought. Saitama asks again, impressed. Yup. Goku responds. And this is just the first level. I have four more transformations. Saitama's eyes once again widened. Are really? You mind showing me? No problem. With that, Goku begins to power up and go to the next level. Goku's hair becomes spikier, and stands up even more. His yellow aura becomes more jagged and flame-like as visible electricity starts sparking around his body. This is called Super Saiyan 2 Saitama simply blinks. It doesn't look that different. Your hair just got spikier, and you have a bit of electricity around you I might not look like much on the outside. But I have double the power than my first Super Saiyan form Goku stated. But Saitama wasn't. All that impressed with his Super Saiyan 2 transformation. Guess it's time to go even further then. The Saiyan once again begins powering up, this time going through some more noticeable physical changes. Goku's golden hair becomes flowing and smooth, and grows exponentially longer until it reaches his waist, while his eyebrows vanish completely, making his forehead and eye ridges appear larger, and revealing a more prominent brow ridge. This is Super Saiyan 3 Goku said. Saitama stares at Goku's transformation blankly, and calmly before finally speaking. Period. Are you trying to insult me w what? No Goku said in surprise. What makes you say that? When I became this strong my hair fell out. Well when you get stronger your hair turns blonde, and grows out. Saitama pointed out. He doesn't know why but for some reason he has taken an instant dislike to this Super Saiyan 3 transformation mostly because it makes Goku's hair very long while also making him stronger. He felt somewhat relieved for not fighting Goku in that form earlier. Goku sweat drops and stares awkwardly at Saitama. 
I should probably move on to the next transformation. Hopefully it doesn't make your hair any longer, Saitama mutters. Goku once again begins transforming. This time however, his aura turns into an orange color, resembling a raging fire, while his hairstyle returns to the same as it was in his base form except it also gains a magenta red color. His eyes become more detailed and his irises become red. Saitama looks at Goku in surprise by this odd new transformation, it certainly wasn't what he was expecting. Red hair? That's a new one? Saitama comments, starting to like this new transformation a little better? Let me guess, you call this Super Saiyan 4 or something? He not really? Goku chuckled. This form is actually called Super Saiyan God, God huh? Not too original, but not too typical. Saitama commented. So you're even stronger now this transformation is leagues above my other three transformations. Goku informed him. It's on a completely different level. So ready for my final transformation? Yeah sure. Let's see how your hair changes now Saitama says. Taking a deep breath, Goku begins transforming for a final time. His body becomes engulfed in a bright blue aura. His hair stands up again like with the first Super Saiyan form. But instead of golden, his hair is now cyanish blue in color. The same went for his eyebrows and irises, while his blue aura becomes vibrant and fiery. Saitama now looks with more awe and amazement at this new transformation. Blue hair. Nice! Saitama said with a bright smile. He always liked the color blue. This form is used to be called Super Saiyan God Super Saiyan, but that was a mouthful so we just started calling it Super Saiyan Blue Goku explained. This is my fifth and most powerful transformation. Can all aliens like you do these cool hair changes? Saitama asks curiously. Well, almost all the Saiyans that I know can transform at least into the first Super Saiyan form, but only Vegeta, and I can turn into Super Saiyan God, and Super Saiyan Blue Goku explained before powering down and reverting to his base form. I'm so jealous of you and your race, Goku. Saitama sighs. Hey you're pretty strong yourself, Goku said cheerfully. In fact, I'd say, it's not about your strength that I'm jealous of. Saitama quickly corrected him. It's that fact that I too went through intense training. But when I became strong, I lost my hair. When you got strong, your hair changes color and looks cool. Goku again sweat drops with an awkward look. Hey don't be like that. I'd be fine if I lost my hair because I got strong. You are super lucky, you know that? Saitama sighs again. So anyway, next time we spar, we better do it on another planet. Or the hyperbolic time chamber. Because you really need to control that strength of yours to not cause any damage. Goku pointed out. Yeah I kind of tend to do that from time to time Saitama sweat dropped, remembering the time when he destroyed a giant meteor, only for the smaller chunks of said meteor to rain down and destroy the city.